What's going on guys, it's Jerome on here with a new pickup, a new review, and today we got a 90s classic, let me tell you. Boom! Reebok Kamikaze 2. Let me tell you, I've always wanted to pick up a Kamikaze 2, but I just haven't found the right colorway. You know, there, there's a colorway like this, but I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. And then I saw pictures of the, the low surface, and I was like, the Kamikaze 2 low is nice. So I picked these up. I actually walked in the finish line and picked up a pair of shoes for a homie and I saw these sitting on the counter at the checkout stand and I was like, are these for sale? Because I didn't know if they were so old or so new. I didn't know. So I asked the guy, he looked it up, he's like, these are brand new. I said, can you sell them to me? He's like, yes. I don't think he was supposed to, but he did anyways. These were $99. That's a pretty good buy for a sneaker. $100 for a Reebok Kamikaze 2. That's a good price point. And the materials on it are all nice. I mean, OG colorway, like, it's just classic 90s colorways. Back in the day, you didn't have all these options that you have now. It was black or white or white and black. It was just that. That was as simple it was. This is so classic. Let's get a close-up look. You got black new buck over here on the underlay, which is, it's a real nice, real soft, real buttery, just real good quality. And then you have these leather panels here. You know, the leather's like whatever. It's, you know, the leather that you're used to seeing nowadays on the overlay here in white. And I just love this design of the Kamikaze 2. It's one of the most definitive styles of the 90 was the Reebok Kamikaze 2. It really stood out back in the day. This was wild. This was like a what the Kobe. Like this was like crazy when uh, Sean Kemp was was rocking these with the Sonics. I mean, it's just classic. And one thing that Reebok did back in the day was they they continued the design of the upper here onto the midsole. So you can see here like the design leaks onto the midsole. Here's the bottom. You can see that Hexalite technology. The traction pattern is real deep and durable. So, you know, outdoor usage might be a good idea. And then you can see the windows here with the Hexalite technology. Now the Hexalite technology basically is like, they say, you know, the honeycomb is the lightest yet one of the strongest shapes in nature so they they put that in there and it apparently um, distributes shock more wider than polyurethane or any other foam EVA foam I think that's what Reebok said on their little pamphlet of Hexalite but you know you never know I'm real excited it's gonna be interesting to see how this traction pattern holds up on an indoor surface so we'll see but I'm playing in these on Sunday so you see just white and black nothing more to it I mean they're real light uh, you got Reebok in the back there Reebok here, black laces, it's real simple. Not much to this shoe, but I just think that sometimes when you make a high top sneaker low, sometimes it looks a little weird and it just doesn't quite work. But with the Kamikaze 2, it definitely works. I mean, it is a nice sneaker. Isaiah Thomas from the Sacramento Kings was rocking PE colorways of these, of the Reebok Kamikaze 2 low, and I was like, dang. Those are fresh. I can't wait for those to release. And they released the Kamikaze 1 in the Isaiah Thomas colorway. Hopefully they'll do the same with the Kamikaze 2 low because I'll definitely pick up a pair of those. But overall, man, you got real good quality. You know, the craftsmanship is nice. I don't see really anything wrong with my pair. This is a classic shoe and I can't wait to ball in these on Sunday because ain't nobody gonna be rocking these because they're not even supposed to sell them till this weekend. These are gonna match the Wear Testers uniform perfectly because the Wear Testers uniform is black and white. So I saw these, I was like, dang, those are perfect. Um, I'm not balling up for a while and then rock these off court. I mean, these are just so fresh. Take a look at the other pair together. It's just... These are so fresh. I mean, check these out, guys. So fresh, black and white. You can really rock these with anything. The thing that stands out about this shoe, since there is no color, is that the design, the contrast in between the black and white, it just stands out even though there's no color, which is, you know, that's definitely a 90s thing. I don't know what else to tell you. I had so many black and white shoes when I was a kid that this just brings back memories. Even though I didn't have this pair, um, I had so many pairs with this same color scheme that it just brings back some memories. So, other than that, guys, I mean, low cut 90s shoes, I'm there. Classic black and white colorway. I'm there. The Reebok Kamikaze 2 is dope, and Sean Kemp is one of my favorite players. If you don't know, the blister on Lister. Dub Nation knows. Dub Nation knows the blister on Lister. You need to pause this video right now. Go to YouTube. Type in 
Blister on Lister, watch the Sean Kemp dunk because it is my favorite dunk of all time ever. Go check it out, okay? Blister on Lister. I'll see you guys in the next one, alright? Peace.